Item number SCP-423 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-423 is contained in a 5x5m room containing three 2x3m bookshelves. An incinerator is located adjacent. All personnel entering or leaving the room are to be searched for written material. Any written material must be checked for any trace of SCP-423 and then, if found clean, incinerated. At night, SCP-423 is to remain in a small, plain journal marked 423. Failure to remain in this journal at designated times will result in loss of reading material outside of scheduled experiments. SCP-423 is no physical form. It appears to exist entirely within textual narratives. It was discovered in a used bookstore in Texas on 19 in a copy of Tom Sawyer. The book was purchased by Agent who located it during a routine search. Agent brought the book back to Sector 28 as instructed. The book seemed perfectly normal except for the inclusion of a character named Fred, who was not known to exist in any other version of the story. However, it was not until it was left by a copy of Moby Dick that the anomalous nature of SCP-423 became clear. SCP-423 is able to enter textual narratives, inserting itself as a minor character. The details of the character vary from story to story, but it is always named Fred, or something similar, and its role in the story is usually minor. Physical descriptions of the character are rare, but it usually appears as a human male average height and middle years. However, this can change depending on the nature of the narrative. He has appeared as a student in narratives focusing on children, and thus presumably of an appropriate age, or even as a non-human in narratives where humans are absent or rare. At no time is his appearance remarked on as being unusual by other characters. SCP-423 is able to move from one narrative to another voluntarily, provided the two works are within one meter of each other. The process takes up to three minutes depending on the length of the new narrative. The entire narrative changes at once, the text on all pages seeming to move. Occasionally the length of the narrative changes. In these cases the text grows smaller or larger to fit the page count of the book. It is only able to appear in physical textual narratives. It cannot enter electronic storage or affect purely visual narratives. If placed in proximity to a graphic novel or other form of sequential art, it will change the text boxes and dialogue bubbles, but will not affect the pictures. Similarly, illustrations in a textual narrative do not change, even if they no longer match up to the narrative as affected by SCP-423. It prefers fictional narratives. However, it can enter any narrative that has characters, including anecdotes, biographies, and research notes. See Addendum 423-1. It could re-enter a narrative that is already exited. If it does so, the new narrative typically differs from the last time SCP-423 entered the story. However, it has displayed a preference for narratives it has not yet entered. It is currently unknown what effect dying in a narrative would have on SCP-423, despite the best effort of researchers. SCP-423 displays a strong grasp of narrative principles, and is usually able to predict the best response in a given circumstance to avoid danger to itself. It has, however, displayed minor injuries. However, these seem to vanish when it enters a new narrative. SCP-423 can be communicated with by coaxing it into a journal. It responds to questions written within, with SCP-423's responses appearing underneath the questions. When it transfers to another narrative, its responses disappear from the journal. It has been largely cooperative since its containment. Its only requests so far have been for more narratives. It has expressed a preference for narratives with a large number of background characters, as this makes it easier for it to blend in and, quote, watch the good stuff, unquote. It has been recommended that, should it become uncooperative, it be confined to the journal until it becomes more amenable to staff requests. Researchers who desire more information on SCP-423 should read Experiment Log 423-A. Addendum 423-1 Researchers are reminded that all physical written material is a potential habitat for 423, and that all notes should therefore be taken electronically. If written notes must for some reason be taken, be sure to check for addenda from Guest Researcher Fred. Addendum 423-2 
the use of SCP-583 to destroy SCP-423 has been suggested. While the SCP is not slated for destruction at the present time, it has been noted should circumstances change. Experiment Log 423-A Experiment Log for SCP-423 Approved by O5 Monitored by O5 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 Project Head Dr. E. Man All researchers working with SCP-423 are encouraged to append their results to this experiment log in the following format. Date Test Material Results Notes Date Test Material Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain Results A character named Fred is mentioned at several points in the story, largely as an onlooker. No change to the story is noticed. Notes this will serve as a baseline for future effects of SCP-423. Dr. E. Mann Date Test Material The Hobbit by J. R. R. Tolkien Results A fourteenth dwarf named Ferador is a member of the party. The narrative is largely the same except that there is no references to a lucky number. Ferador is mentioned as surviving the battle of five armies, but Oin is killed. Notes. SCP-423's role is larger in its work, allowing a better look at its effects. The dialogue written for the character is similar to that written for the other dwarves. Other differences in text match Tolkien's writing style as used in the rest of the book. Dr. E. Mann Date Test Material Plain Journal Results There was no result for some time until one of the researchers wrote his name on the cover. The words, hide there, appeared underneath. A conversation was held, during which it was established that SCP-423 possessed both the ability and desire to communicate. Notes. This proves that SCP-423 is sentient. If it could be controlled, it could be useful in dealing with certain text-based SCPs. This bears further research. Dr. E. Mann Date. Test Material Dragon Quest by Anne McCaffrey Result, a minor blue writer named Fared appears in the story. No other changes are noted. Date Test Material Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling Result, a wizard named Fred appeared. Very few changes in the story are noted, except one scene in which SCP-423 is confused with the existing character in the series. Notes, SCP-423 display paranormal abilities in the narrative though nothing out of note for the fictional universe. However, when returned to the journal, SCP-423 said it couldn't duplicate them outside of that particular narrative universe. Dr. E. Mann Date Test Material Ulysses by James Joyce Results SCP-423 immediately returned to the journal, where it wrote out, Ow, ow, bad idea. Notes Note this is a potential punishment for SCP-423 if it misbehaves. Dr. E. Man. Date Test Material The Draco Tavern by Larry Niven Result, A new regular employee of the Draco Tavern showed up named Fred. Only mentioned in passing save in the story Cruel and Unusual, where he expressed sympathy for the Chirp Sithra view. Note, either he's not completely human in outlook, or only acts that way when dealing with stories of aliens. We should probably test this further. Dr. D. Bettier Date Test Material The Battle Hymn of the Republic by Julia Ward Howe Results Verse 2 lines 1 and 3 altered, rather than, I have seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps, and, I can read his righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. The lines now state, Fred has seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps, and, Fred can read his righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 wrote, That was interesting, but I don't think I want to try it again. Date Test Material Mary Had a Little Lamb, Verses 1 and 2 Only, by Sarah Josepha Hale Results References to Mary in verse 1 are now references to Freddy. References to her in verse 2 are now references to him. Date Test Material Mary Had a Little Lamb, Full Version by Sarah Josepha Hale Results Verses 1 and 2 are now unaltered. A reference to the eager children in verse 4 is now a reference to Fred and the children. Date 
Test Material House of Leaves Color Version by Mark Z. Danieluski Results A male man named Fred delivers a letter to Will Navidson and Paige. Fred also appears as a bartender that attends Johnny and one of the orderlies caring for Pelafina. SCP-423 expressed profound confusion after leaving this work. Of note is that all references of Fred in the text are written in green. Date Test Material Gatsby, Champion of Youth by Ernest Vincent Wright Gatsby is known for being an extended lipogram, a 50,110-word story written without any ease. Results, a minor character named Ford appeared in the novel. Date Test Material A non-pornographic limerick about a man from Nantucket. Results, no change. SCP-423 subsequently explained that the given limerick was too small and too tight, with insufficient flexibility. Date Test Material A book of 365 haiku. Results Third line of thirteen separate haiku replaced with a five-syllable phrase mentioning Fred. Fred watched silently. Fred is also here. Only Fred remains, etc. Date Test Material The Frogs Who Desired a King by Aesop Written using plastic letters with a magnetic backing applied to a metallic surface. Results The penultimate sentence became a big stork that soon set to work gobbling them all up except for one named Fred who hid. The new letters appeared to be of the same material and design of the original ones, and the weight of the complete setup remained the same. Date Test Material Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy Results, In the introductory scene where Holden incites a mob to murder the Reverend by falsely accusing the Reverend of rape and bestiality, a bystander named Frederick is present in the mob. However, instead of participating, the bystander leaves in disgust. The narrator comments that the weak coward Frederick was never seen again. Date Test Material Telephone Directory 2003 Results No Change Date Test Material Twelve Angry Men by Reginald Rose Results The list of characters specifies that the courthouse guard is named Fred. He is described as disappointed that he will be excluded from the juror's deliberations. Date Test Material Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler, German Original Results No change for the first minutes, followed by an insertion of multiple brief references to a distant, skeptical colleague named Friedrich into autobiographical fragments of chapters 2 to 8 of the book. The inserts were in German roughly consistent with the original style but containing a number of grammar and stylistic mistakes. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 remarked, Whew, that was hard. Note, I am not sure what is more significant here, that 423 appears to possess a native tongue, or that it was apparently able to obtain fairly good knowledge of German from the contents of a single book, even as long as this one. We should look deeper into its possible application to translating hitherto undecipherable scripts. Dr. Despair Date Test Material Odyssey by Homer English Braille Edition Results No change SCP-423 left the book after five minutes saying, Interesting, but I think I'll leave this one for when I'm really bored. Date Test Material A hard copy of this experiment log Results Identical, except for the insertion of the words ruggedly handsome in several sections of the log. Date Test Material The Kugelmass Episode by Woody Allen A story about a man who is able to travel into fiction Results Testing forbidden by O5 Date Test Material SCP-826 Using SCP-423 Communication Journal as a book Results Testing forbidden by O5 Date Test Material SCP-701 Results Testing forbidden by O5 Date Test Material A Canadian $5 bill, 2008 issue The reverse of the bill contained a two-sentence passage from The Hockey Sweater by Roche Carrier, in French and in English. Results First sentence remained intact. Second sentence, which describes how important skating rinks were in Carrier's childhood, now mentions life on the skating rink with Fred. Sur la patinoire avec Fred Notes 
The bill was first tested in a change machine and accepted as legitimate. After SCP-423 left the bill, it was tested in the same change machine and rejected as counterfeit. Date. Test material. Green eggs and ham by Dr. Seuss. Results. Halfway through the book, Sam I Am asked the protagonist, Would you eat them here with Fred? Would you eat them with some bread? The protagonist refuses. No edited nor additional illustrations were included. Notes. After returning to his journal, SCP-423 noted, That was fun. Date. Test material. The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. Results. A hobbit named Fredegar Burroughs, noted as a friend of Samwise Gamgee, accompanies Frodo Baggins and his party throughout the book. Notes. A particular note is that Oin, noted as having been killed in 423's version of The Hobbit, is mentioned as surviving in this book. Date. Test material. SCP-140. Results. Testing forbidden by O5. Note. Without permission, researcher who was working with SCP-140 at the time, put the two books together, despite training and resisting mimetic effects. Words appearing rapidly on SCP-140's pages at a rate of roughly one page filled every twelve seconds until SCP-423 returned to his journal, and the words disappeared from the pages of SCP-140. SCP-423 later stated that it was extremely painful and felt like it was being ripped apart. Date. Test material. SCP-1425. Results. Testing forbidden by O5. Date. Test material. SCP-1230. Results. Pending O5 approval. Date. Test material. SCP-1195. Results. Pending O5 approval. Testing forbidden by O5. Date. Test material. A list of Class D personnel to be terminated the first of the month, names included. Results. The line Class D personnel to be decommissioned as of Change to Class D personnel to be released as of All names remain as first written down. SCP-423 writes in the journal. Now that's just heartless. Note, it is conclusive that SCP-423 has the ability to not only feel emotion, but has a belief in the importance of life. Date. Test material. A 20-minute ballet for eight dancers, four male and four female, described in Ruboff Labin's Labin Notation System for recording human movement. Results. Notation indicates that halfway through the ballet, a fifth male dancer walks on stage, looks at the other dancers, shrugs his shoulders, and walks off. Date. Test material. A logic puzzle, as published in Logic Puzzle Magazine describing how five different people took their driving test in five different vehicles on five different days and made five different errors, as is standard for logic puzzles of this sort. Solvers are to determine which student drove which vehicle and made which error on which day. Results. A driving examiner named Fred is mentioned as having been present during all tests. Upon subsequent questioning, SCP-423 was able to correctly state which driver made which error in which vehicle on which day. When asked how it knew this, SCP-423 did not explain the series of logical inferences, deductions, and conclusions by which such puzzles are typically solved, but rather simply stated that it was right there the whole time. Date. Test Material The Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson Results the Dramatis Personae in the star of the book now mentions Reader, a soldier in the Bridgeburners, and Fred, a Duro patron of the Phoenix Inn. In the second chapter, following the fall of Pale, the Bridgeburners that arrive for Hairlock include a fifth person, who is unnamed and doesn't speak, but can later be identified as Reader. In many subsequent encounters with the Bridgeburners, the soldier Reader is also present. This character doesn't have any lines and is normally found with a book in his hand. In Chapter 5, during Krupp's dream, Krupp sees a figure with the Gadrobi shantytown who, he says, greatly reminds him of his friend Fred, who he saw just the other day in the Phoenix Inn. From Chapter 6 on, Fred is to be found in the Phoenix Inn. Interestingly, for the garden party at Lady Samtil's estate, both Fred and Reader are guests. Bridgeburner and Darrow viewpoint characters alike comment on how they look vaguely similar. 
Apart from the minor changes, the book has exactly the same ending as before, though. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 wrote only dot 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 when questioned. After a few minutes, it finally wrote sorry, that was interesting but exhausting. SCP-423 expressed an interest in the remaining books of the series. This has been noted and will be considered as a reward for good behavior. Notes. This has proven that 423 can be in multiple places within the same narrative, although it seems to tire it out. Dr. R. Karma Date. Test Material Candidate Multilinear Maps by Sanjem Garg Published in 2013 as a doctoral thesis Results. Approximately 10 seconds after entering, SCP-423 returned to the journal and wrote, Sorry, not enough room for me. Notes. It seems that 423 needs to have a narrative to work off. This has been noted for the future. Dr. R. Karma Date. Test material. A printout of source code for a simple Hello World program in C-sharp. Results. The source code now has a number of additional comments alongside the source code professing confusion about certain aspects of programming. On returning to the journal, SCP-423 wrote out, Well, that was a first. Date. Test Material Head First C-Sharp, 3rd Edition, 1st Printing, by Andrew Stellman and Jennifer Green Results A number of examples involving named male characters have had these characters renamed to Fred. The puzzles are all filled in. Around page 100 or so, notes start appearing here and there. No substantial changes are noted until page 698, where a typo identified in the errata for the book was corrected. In subsequent pages, a number of typos and language problems were corrected in code snippets and descriptions, matching the errors reported in the errata, with the exceptions of screenshots. On returning to the journal, SCP-423 reported that it found that fun but unusual. On being questioned on its understanding of the language, SCP-423 stated that it could write and understand C-sharp, and expressed a desire to use Visual Studio. Notes. 423 seems to be both capable and interested in learning, provided that there is some narrative reason for it to learn. A potential future experiment could involve its attempting to decant it into a computer without an internet connection. Dr. R. Karma Date. Test Material Secret of the Ninja Choose Your Own Adventure No. 16 by J. Liebold Results. The viewpoint character is initially accompanied by a character named Fred, who is another student at the dojo. Several of the choice descriptions which lead to a negative ending for the protagonist and his companions are changed to contain a phrase indicating Fred does not accompany the protagonist. Notes, 423 does not seem significantly hindered by the book's branching narrative, nor by the presence of multiple endings. Researcher Date 2015 Test Material Printed copy of an ASCII art rendition of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci Results all punctuation used to simulate the shading of the original work is replaced with the letters F, R, E, and D in upper and lower case. Note, when questioned about the extent of its ability to completely modify textual representations of imagery, as opposed to merely substituting characters, SCP-423 acknowledged the possibility, responding with, I guess so, maybe, but I'm not really good at art. Further inquiry is suggested. Date. Test Material SCP-085 Results Pending O5 Approval Date. Test Material The Frequently Asked Questions Document for the Usenet News Group Alt.Objective.Noun.Verb.Verb.Verb Results A sentence is added to the section of the document which describes the news group's genesis, stating Alt.anomalous.fred.perplex.baffled.moderately-amused Date Test Material Lion Eating Poet in the Stone Den by Yuan Ren Chao Lion Eating Poet is a 92-character poem written in classical Chinese in which every syllable is pronounced she, albeit with varying tones. Results SCP-423-D manifested from its journal but did not manifest within the test document. After ten minutes, researchers were about to report a containment breach, when SCP-423 re-manifested within its journal, stating it had gotten lost trying to find a way in. Date: World War Z by Max Brooks 
The book consists of multiple small interview-like stories told from the perspective of survivors of a zombie apocalypse. Results. SCP-423-D manifested from the journal, and was discovered to have added in the accounts of a character named Fred, who survived in a bookstore on Road in New York. A team has been dispatched to investigate the named location. Date Test Material Marvel Masterworks The X-Men Vol. 1 by Stan Lee Writer and Jack Kirby Artist the book is a trade paperback collection of the first ten issues of the comic book series The X-Men. The collection now contains numerous references to Fred Wordsworth, one of the students of Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. This character is described as a mutant possessing the ability to physically enter and alter any text, but that this power has made him invisible and intangible. By issue number 5, the character has become a second-string member of the X-Men unit under the alias Bookworm. The character indirectly participates in several plot points through utilization of his abilities, in one instance distracting a villain by altering nearby signs. SCP-423 was found to have altered certain instances of text within the artwork, but was completely unable to affect other instances upon request. Investigation has revealed that all susceptible text was added by the comic's letterer, exclusively responsible for the addition of all text found in the comic, rather than the inker, exclusively responsible for finalizing artwork. Further study is recommended. Date. Test Material The Poem Incident by Count T. Cullen, depicting Cullen's experiences with anti-black racism as a child visiting Baltimore. Results. The ninth line of the poem is changed from, I saw the whole of Baltimore, to Fred showed me all of Baltimore. Notes, SCP-423 seems reluctant to portray itself as either the perpetrator or the victim of racism. Date. Test Material Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut The novel is a semi-autobiographical account of Vonnegut's experience as an American prisoner of war during the 1945 bombing of Dresden, Germany during World War II. Results, all mention of Kurt Vonnegut within the novel, excluding within the foreword, is altered to describe SCP-423, such as, that was I, that was me, that was the author of this book, was changed to read, that was Fred, that was not me, that was not the author of this book. Notes, as Kurt Vonnegut himself was not mentioned for most of the novel, he could technically be described as a minor character. Date. Test Material The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton Results, A new member of the Sox accompanies Robert during the scene in which Robert is murdered. When Pony Boy wakes up after having attempted to be drowned, Johnny mentions that someone, unimpressively handsome, had introduced himself as Fred, before punching Johnny in the face, then running out of there like lightning. After returning to the journal, SCP-423 remarked, I know that you guys record this, and I didn't want to ruin the ending for anyone who hadn't read the book. It is to be noted that at the end of the book, Date Test Material Fred's Story by Researcher Torres, a small novella written specifically to test SCP-423's abilities. The novella is set in a fantasy kingdom whose inhabitants are all beautiful women. When the kingdom is attacked by a demonic force, the kingdom's queen creates a ritual to summon a hero from another dimension to save them. The hero is never given a name, but it is mentioned that he is male and can transfer his consciousness to different works of fiction. Results, the hero is left nameless, and the novella is left unchanged, aside from an added sentence in Chapter 2 which mentions that one of the queen's assistants is named Frederica. After SCP-423-D manifested from the novella, it noted, I appreciate the offer, but I just can't. I never deserved to be in the spotlight. Date. Test Material The Last Question by Isaac Asimov This test was conducted not using physically printed material, but a 9.7-inch e-reader tablet utilizing electronic paper technology. Electronic paper is able to retain a static image indefinitely without electricity, requiring power only for the initial rendering. Image remains as a suspension of pigments in an oil-like base once rendered. Entire story was rendered on a single screen in a small font. Wireless functionality was disabled before testing by physically severing circuit traces on the device's printed circuit board as a precaution. Result, 
A character named FR-33D is inserted into the third section of the story almost instantaneously, with a single line in response to another character's comment on the rate at which humans are populating the galaxy. SCP-423 stated afterwards, Good story, but what was that? It felt strange. It was very easy to move through, not at all unpleasant. It felt like there was something below the story, if that makes sense. Can we do more like that? Notes. It is unclear whether SCP-423 moved through the internal circuitry of the device or simply the physical pigment and oil suspension of the electronic paper material. Changes occurred much faster than in tests with ink on paper. Recommend further testing with other subtraits and form factors. Electronic paper appears to be close enough to printed material as to be compatible with SCP-423. What else might be compatible? Text painted on a wall? Stitched into fabric? Written on a cake with icing? Doctor? Date. Test material. If on a winter's night a traveler. By Italo Calvino. English translation by William Weaver. A metafictional novel about interrupted and unfinished narratives half of whose content is a second-person narrative describing a reader's increasingly frantic attempts to obtain and read a copy of If on a Winter Night a Traveler, only to find that every copy is flawed such that every other chapter is from a different imaginary novel, and that other half is the aforementioned chapters from imaginary novels. Results. In the section where the protagonist angrily returns the flawed copy of the novel to the bookseller in hopes of either attaining a proper copy or finding out the conclusion to the chapter of the imaginary novel, another angry customer named Fred tells the bookseller that, if this is a joke, it's not funny. Date. Test Material A version of In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust English translation by DJ Enright Considered one of the longest works of fiction in history, in which all seven volumes have been custom-bound into one book, with all indications of differing volumes removed. Results. After several minutes, Fred only appears within the first three volumes, Swan's Way, In the Shadow of Young Girls and Flower, and The Garamont's Way, before all references of him cease. Upon return to the journal, SCP-423 expressed feelings of surprise, stating, Great story, but I took a peek of how long it went and wow is it long. I'm going to need to come back to this one. Notes. Along with the aforementioned Erickson test, this could be an indicator that SCP-423 has an upper limit as to the length of the works he can manifest in. Date. Test materials. SCP-3450, printed on the standard computer paper. Results. Testing forbidden by O5. Notes. SCP-423 had learned of this test after denial due to junior researcher accidentally leaving a notepad expressing disappointment at the test denial near 423's journal. SCP-423 wrote that, The irony of interacting with a self-insert fanfic isn't lost on me. Date. Test Material Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck Results. A character named Freddy appears multiple times throughout the book, working as a farmhand on the ranch. The narrator describes him as, a man whose handsomeness is all the more apparent when compared to the other hands at the ranch, as he is not nearly as worn down. His largest appearance is during the section when George Milton and Lenny Small first arrive on the ranch. As he passes the two protagonists by, he comments on the size of Lenny, remarking that he looks like a bull who learned how to walk on his hind legs. Date. Test Material 300 Children's Building Block Toys Result. No change. Notes. The result of this test is rather inconclusive. Did SCP-423 consider the letters on the blocks a picture instead of text? Could it only affect one block and not have enough room? Or can it simply not affect this form of writing? More tests like this will have to be conducted. Date. Test Material SCP-2236 SCP-2236 was used to examine tests known to have been affected by SCP-423. Result. First few texts examined exhibited no change. In subsequently examined text, references to SCP-423 in the text were, when examined using SCP-2236, interpreted as descriptions of Fred seeking to hide or observe observation. When returned to the journal, a comment in appeared in the journal reading, that was rude. This comment, 
when examined using SCP-2236, appeared as a string of expletives. Date Test Material A journal with Mary Had a Little Lamb, but written in invisible ink. Result Same as the last time Mary Had a Little Lamb was used. SCP-423 manifested itself in invisible ink. When asking SCP-423 if he noticed the change in ink, he did admit that the document seemed slightly different. Notes. It seems that SCP-423 might be able to know specific patterns and differences between text, explaining his adherence to story-specific restrictions. This is confirmed by this experiment. Date. Test material. A copy of the Voynich Manuscript. Result. After five minutes in which the text did not change, SCP-423 explained that the topic was technical up to a level where SCP-423 could not understand. Though SCP-423 explained it did seem that the pictures in the Voynich manuscript matched the captions below. Date. Test material. A hard copy of the Wikipedia page on the Poincaré conjecture. Result. The only place where SCP-423 manifested was in one of the bibliographies. SCP-423 stated that it could not find a good place to appear due to the lack of knowledge of the Poincaré conjecture, though it was impressed by Poincaré's math skills. Date. Test Material Metaphors by Sylvia Plath A nine-line poem in which each line is a nine-syllable metaphor for the same subject. Result, no change. When SCP-423 returned to his journal, it stated that, Whatever she's doing in there, it's too crowded. There's no room for me. I really don't think I should be in there. It's kind of private. And refuse to comment further. Date. Test Material a copy of the film script for Inception by Christopher Nolan. Result, SCP-423 appeared as a minor character appearing in some of the dreams, as well as the limbo state for the movie. It adhered to the capitalization format of the script, Fred, as well as his name put in the middle of the page when appearing, with a line after his name each time. SCP-423 states that it highly enjoyed the script, though he was a bit confused by Fade Out as well as credits since this was the first time it was exposed to a movie script. Date. Test Material A copy of the script for Heaven Sent from Doctor Who Result. References to sculptures on the wall resembling SCP-423's usual look. SCP-423 explained that the tight story made it too difficult for him to manifest himself as an actual character, though he vastly enjoyed the Doctor's fantastic performance, which he claimed he experienced not as four billion years but only an hour, as long as a TV episode. Notes. It seems that if a story is very contained, any other characters would have a severe change in plot or make no sense. With only a bare minimal amount of main characters, SCP-423 will become an inanimate object in the story instead, though still aware of events occurring. Date. Test Material The Lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen Result. In verses 2 and 3, Mama was replaced by Frederica. SCP-423 seemed unaware that this was from a song as opposed to a poem. It seems that not all information is given to SCP-423, merely enough for him to not interrupt the flow of a poem or song, as well as fulfill any standards set by a story. Date. Test Material Fifty Shades of Grey by E. L. James Result. A minor character, Fred, appeared in the background. SCP-423 expressed that it was a bit uncomfortable with the explicit scenes within the book and requested that it be sent to stories with more adventure and action next time. Notes. It seems that SCP-423 also has a taste for specific books. This is the first time it was exposed to a sexually explicit book, so it was not used to the situation. Date. Test Material This is the title of this story which is also found several times in the story itself by David Moser, a metafictional story about self-reference. Result: Several additional sentences appear throughout the story, including, this is the sentence in which Fred appears, this is not the sentence in which Fred appears, and this sentence alludes to Fred's presence but does not actually contain Fred. Date: Test Material Written by Dr. A list of 100 fictional people doing things simultaneously in different areas, with a tragic end, along with a final over-encompassing statement about each of them contributing to the tragedy. Result. 
This test was to determine if there was an upper limit to how many locations SCP-423 could reside in at the same time within a book. Out of 100 fictional people, only 83 had the mention of Fred with it. The tragedy was not prevented in the end. SCP-423 noted that it got too tired of being at 83 different places in the story. Date. Test material. The file for SCP-055. Result. Inconclusive. SCP-423 stated that it was not sure what it was doing other than the fact that something was not spherical. Researchers soon forgot what they sent SCP-423 to do. Date. Test material. The experimental data for SCP-2719, labeled SCP-2719, with no outcomes listed, and with an additional entry with SCP-423 at the bottom, also with no outcome listed. Result. The data was filled precisely identical to the real file of SCP-2719. SCP-423's outcome was became inside. When questioned, SCP-423 responded that it merely observed what occurred with each entity, despite SCP-2719 being an abstract metaphysical concept. It also somehow experienced becoming inside, despite having no knowledge of 2719. More testing to be done with 2719 and 423. Notes. It seems that abstract entities manifesting themselves have the same effect on SCP-423 as any usual person, even if SCP-423 has no idea what is happening. It also seems it can fill in the blanks based on what already happened. Date. Test Material. Experiment Log 914 Part 2 Result. A record appeared in Test Logs, Part 8 of an experiment performed by guest researcher Fred, with the rest of the data for said experiment blocked out. Date. Total Date Failure Test Material The Abridged History of Homo Sapiens by History Analysis Subroutine No. 7589-3723572864-73-NFIZ Results SCP-423 is featured under the Unknown Period section as a featureless humanoid screaming in an infinite white void and rambling incoherently. After being returned, SCP-423 showed signs of prolonged exposure to weak time, suggesting that SCP-423 still understands temporal physics in a manner similar to organic beings. Date. Test Material An untitled 50,000-page story created by randomization bound by grammar and basic sentence structure created for this test. Result. The sentence, Joshua went to the diagonal party without a safety ant, was replaced with, Joshua went to the diagonal party without a safety Fred. Notes. SCP-423 noted that being in the document was similar to when it has experienced dreams and other stories which it slept. Date. Test material. A printout of the game script for The Secret of Monkey Island. Result was laser scanned and the raw text compiled into a working program after being screened for anomalies. Result, an NPC named Fred appears near the small building at the pier on Melee Island. When spoken to, the player is presented with a dialogue tree. Questioning him on his backstory reveals that he tried and failed to become a pirate. It is mandatory to recruit him on the ship's crew for the second chapter, where he joins the mutiny. Subsequent cutscenes have him present with the rest of the crew. Notes. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 remarked, That was like a choose-your-own-adventure book. Let me know if you find any more. Date. Test material. A million random digits with 100,000 normal deviants. Published by Rand Corporation 1955. Result. Addition of a preface by Dr. Frederick McCarthy. Explaining the statistical methodology used to generate the numbers in the book. Date. Test Material The Location 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 Story Arc from the first print collection of Precocious Precocious is a webcomic where all characters are anthropomorphic animals. However, none of the dialogue in this particular story states or implies a species. The purpose of this test is to determine if SCP-423 can sense artwork. Results. Mr. Krupp states the name of the father in an off-screen family to be named Fred. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 was asked if the cast of this story were human. SCP-423 states that they were animals, and he himself took on the form of an arctic fox. 
Further questioning reveals that this was the most nondescript species of the choices he was given. Date. Test material. The entire script of William Shakespeare's Hamlet. Results. During Act 1, Scene 2, a character by the name of Frederick sneezes halfway through King Claudius' speech. Hamlet laughs. No other changes have been discovered. Notes. When questioned, SCP-423 stated, I got a little bored during the speech. Date. Test material. SCP-1459 Extended Testing Log. Results. No change. Notes. SCP-423 stated the following. You all disgust me. So. Fucking. Much.